Hey, welcome to the show. Thanks for stopping by. Lots of great stuff on this week's Andy Mixtape. Alexandria Mayo is chatting with us about her new record, about her newest music video. Also, we shot a special acoustic version of one of the songs off that record. Adam, my camera guy, he helped shoot that. It's really good, right, Adam? Adam agrees. Um, before that, though, the release of a brand new music video just happened. It's Miss Quincy and the Showdown. They are playing at Studio Records on Granville on August the 11th, but we've got them right now for you here on Indie Mixtape.
All right, welcome back. That was Sunday, Sarah. We are now with the musician, the artist herself, Alexandria Mayo. Thanks for joining us, first of all. Thank you. Um, now, first of all, I hear you are a hat expert. Is that safe to say? Well, that's subjective. But I mean, I do work in a hat shop, so I'd like to think I know a bit about hats. I don't make hats, though, so that takes out half the, the struggle. So you're a hat expert, but you're also a music expert. Can you tell us a little bit about your debut record that just came out? Um, my record, Time, it just came out in June. It's terrifying, to be completely honest, because you're doing, for, for me at least, I'm doing it not for anyone else but myself. So the whole, you know, the whole element where like you're in the public eye and people have opinions about something that you didn't really think about having an opinion. You just like you created it and then like wanted to, to like see it come to life. And um, it's just hard for some for someone like myself who's so nervous about everything. And like I, I started making music when I was seven and like I wrote my first song when I was nine and and it's all just being a very slow an organic process and like no one in my family is musically inclined and so it, it I mean I I've just done it myself so I I guess it's just I guess in that sense like I'm proud of being able to have found something that I feel like I can stick with it's also just very therapeutic toured hot yoga studios with your music, is this true? That is true, actually one of my night jobs is playing music in hot yoga studios, so I play through um, a company called Moksha, and I've been doing that for two years, and so I dedicate my night to playing in a sweaty room for yogis. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though, and I did, yeah, I toured uh, across um, BC and Alberta playing all of the, the studios, so that was a lot of fun. Speaking of sweaty rooms and music, which is a better venue, the hot yoga studio or the rickshaw? <laughs> you know what? The rickshaw is such a cool venue. Um, I've seen so many neat artists there that you wouldn't see in a yoga studio, like Pizza Underground, um, Macaulay Culkin's band. So, I mean, <laughs> they both have their place, you know? Um, I love playing in this, the yoga studios, though, so it's like... It's, it's hard to say. I, I, I just love intimate shows, so, so I mean, the rickshaw is like, you know, a venue that like, that I, you know, I would have dreamed to play on because it's like a very traditional venue and a yoga studio is like, why are you playing in there? And then you go in there and, you, and it makes sense. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, and going with venues, we're about to turn uh, Gurren Brothers into a venue tonight. Oh, totally. So, thank you for having us in here. Do, uh, what song are you going to be playing for us? And could you tell us a little bit, give us a preface to the song. The song I'm gonna play tonight is uh, is Smitten and it's off the album. Um, And basically I wrote it um, after uh, a breakup with someone who I was with for a very long time. And it was like four days after and I wrote this song. I was on the Sky Train and I just moved out of my place really quickly. Like within 24 hours, sort of my life sort of flipped upside down. So yeah, I wrote that song just kind of like internalizing everything. For me, it was just me thinking about the perfect sort of, you know, meet with someone, like a meet cute. So I was thinking of a meet cute when I wrote it. So this is a song all about when Alexandria Mayo had her life flip turned upside down. Uh, let's, I'd like to take a minute. We're going to let her play Smitten for you right here on Indie Mixtape.
Yeah.
call my baby on the telephone ring 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 call my baby on the telephone ring ring get up off my feet put down the receiver i love that man like a golden retriever ring ring call my baby on the telephone ring ring cuckoo birdie sitting on a wire singing cuckoo cuckoo birdie sitting on a wire singing flat tire cuckoo birdie sitting on a wire singing coo That was Sarah Jane Scouten performing as part of Light Organ Records' Railtown Sessions. Now, uh, they record all of those in Vancouver. She's also stopping in Euculet and Sorrento for some festival shows coming up. You can check out facebook.com slash Railtown Sessions. For more information on the artists playing at these limited access shows, they're happening until the end of the year at secret locations. Now, on that Facebook page, you can also find out how to get into these shows and where you can stream them. That is uh, lightorganrecords.com. August the 12th is going to be the next one. Rob Butterfield is playing that one. And all of these sessions match up with recorded EPs that Light Organ is releasing as well. Now, before I send you off, uh, you're going to get some Julia Bentley. She is in town on August the 11th with Myla at Slickety Gyms. Thank you so much for tuning in this week, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>